Hello everyone! Welcome to I Love Math. In this video, pag-usapan natin mathematical system pa rin tayo, specifically axioms. So what is axiom? It is a mathematical statement that is accepted to be true without any proof. These are useful in proving theorems and other statements in geometry. So, example of actions is real numbers and equality. So, meron tayong mga properties of equality. Properties are our rules that allows you to balance, manipulate, and solve equations. So, property number one, addition property of equality, it says that adding the same number of to both sides of the equation does not change the equality of the equation. So, if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to BC. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung meron tayo, kung equal si A kay B, so, hindi siya magbabago kahit ay i-add mo siya ng another uh, item, which is the C, in both sides. Basta sa both sides mo lang siya. The left is equal to the right pa rin siya. Kasi, uh, i-add mo siya sa dalawang side of the equation. So, the equation is equal pa rin. So, we will have an example. If x minus 2 is equal to 4, so, pwede natin siyang, pwede tayong mag-add sa left side of the equation and to the right side of the equation. We can add 2 sa left side, then 2 then sa right side. So, we, will, we can cancel. Negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So, ang natitira is x is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Paano natin ma-prove na yung sinasabi na that's not uh, change the equality of the equation? Paano natin malalaman na equal pa rin yung left is equal to the right side of the equation? We will just uh, substitute the value of our x to the uh, at sa equation natin. Kanina, x minus 2 is equal to 4. So, the value of our x is equal to 6. Minus 2 is equal to 4. So, 4. 6 minus 2 is, is equal to 4. Uh, 4 is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, kahit nag-add tayo ng uh, 2, both side of the equation, hindi nagbabago yung equality of the equation. Equal pa rin sila. Next is the subtraction property of equality. It says that subtracting the same number to both sides of the equation does not change the equality of the equation. Pareho lang sila ng addition. Uh, ang, di, ang, ang kaibahan lang nila is subtraction dito ang uh, operation. So, if A is equal to B, then A minus C is equal to B minus C. We, had a mix, we have an example... If y plus 7 is equal to 10, then pwede tayong mag-subtract ng 7 both sides. Hindi magbabago yung uh, equality ng equation. So we have y plus 7, then minus 7 tayo both sides. So ang natitira is y is equal to 3. So we will try uh, value ng y is equal to 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So, hindi nang babago yung equality ng equation natin. So, number 3 is the multiplication property of equality. It says, multiplying both sides of the equation by the same number other than 0. So, kahit anong number, huwag lang ang 0. Does not change the equality of the equation. Okay. So, if A is equal to B, then a times C is equal to B times C. Example, if uh, M over 2 is equal to 6, pwede tayong mag-multiply ng 2 both sides para ma-cancel out yung 2. So, we have M over 2 times 2. So, both sides natin i-multiply. But, dito sa, sa left side, 
pwede natin silang makancel out kasi numerator and whole number and the denominator. So, 1 na sila, di ba? So, m over 1 is equal to m. So, m, ang natitira dito is m. So, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. m is equal to 12. So, we will check. Value ng m natin is 12 over 2. So, 6 is equal to 6. Number 4. Division property of equality. It says, dividing both sides of the equation with the same number other than zero. So, multiplication and division, hindi ka pwedeng mag-multiply or mag-divide ng zero. Does not change the equality of the equation. If A is equal to B, then A over C is equal to B over C. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-divide nag tayo both sides ng kahit anong number, basta hindi lang zero, Pareho lang din yung equality ng equation noon. Example, if 4x is equal to 12, so para ma, ma kuha natin yung value ng x, so we can divide both side by 4 para matang, ma, mag 1 na lang yung x natin, yung coefficient ng x. So we will divide both side by 4. So, cancelled out yung 4. So, ang natitira is uh, coefficient ng x is 1 na lang. So, x is equal to 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So, 4x is equal to 12. Ang, four na, uh, ang x natin is 3. So, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, 4 times 3, 12 is equal to 12. So, next, number 5, reflexive prop. Property of equality, a number is equals to equal to itself. So, para siyang mirror, makikita mo yung sarili mo. Uh, so, A is equal to itself. A is equal to A. For example, 5 is equal to 5. So, number 6, symmetric property of equality. If numbers are equal, they will still equal if the orders is changed. Pagbalik ta rin daw ang order, equal pa rin sila. So, if A is equal to B, then B is equal to A. Example, if X is equal to 3, then 3 is equal to X. Number 7, transitive property of equality. If numbers are equal to the same number, then they are equal to each other. If A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A and C are equal. If X is equal to 4, example, and Y is equal to 4, then X and Y is equal, are equal dahil pareho yung value nila. Equal yung value nila. So, X and Y are equal. Number 8, substitution property of equality. It says, if numbers are equal, substituting 1 in 4, the another does not change the equality of the equation. Nagamit na natin to kanina, yung substitution property, nung pag-check natin kung, kung nag-equal ba doon sa uh, addition and subtraction, or doon talaga sa division, yung ginamit natin kanina na pag-check sa addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, ito yun, yung substitution Substitution property of equality. It's if A is equal to B, then B may be substituted for A in an A expression containing A. Example, if X is equal to 6 and Y is equal to X minus 2. So, Y is equal to 6 minus 2 ay pareho lang din. Kasi, Ang x, sinubstitute lang niya ang value ng x dito na si 6. So, eto ngayon, si y is equal to 6 minus 2. Nagamit na natin tong substitution kanina. So, hindi na lang natin elaborate. So, next, we have the properties of congruence. Reflexive property of congruence. A segment, an angle, a triangle, or any other shape is always congruent to equal to itself. 
Example, uh, katulad doon sa reflexive property of equality, parang mirror siya na angle A is congruence or uh, other, other terms sa congruence is equal to or equal to. Congruence. So, angle A is congruence to angle A. Kung babasahin mo yan, angle A is congruent or equal to angle A. The same as segment AB is congruent to segment AB. Congruent or equal to. Next, symmetric property of congruence. Figure A is congruent or equal to figure B. Then, figure B is also congruent or equal to figure A. If angle A congruence to angle B, then angle B is congruent to angle A. Uh, sa sa uh, katulad lang din ng uh, properties of equality, may symmetric property of equality tayo, so uh, magkapareho lang din sila. Transitive property of congruence, if figure A is congruent or equal to figure B, and figure B is also congruent or equal to figure C, then figure A is also congruent or equal to figure C. So, meron tayong tatlong triangle, figure A, figure B, and figure C. So, sa figure A, uh, if Segment AB is congruent to segment DE and DE is congruent to GH. Ibig sabihin, ang segment AB ay congruent din sa segment GH. Katulad din ng angle, angle, eto yung angle niya. If angle B is congruent to angle E, then angle E is congruent to angle E is congruent to angle H. So we will have our activity na makikita ninyo sa inyong SSLM. Match me up direction. Match the following illustrations to their corresponding property. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided. So, i-post mo na ninyo itong video na to, sagutan ninyo sa sarili ninyo para ma-check ninyo kung ilan yung tama ninyo. Kung para ma-measure ma, uh, ma ninyo kung saan, ano ba yung naintindihan ninyo sa sarili ninyo. So, uh, i-post mo na ninyong video, then sabay-sabay nating sagutan. Uh, dito sa taas, meron itong mga boxes. Nandito yung... Uh, properties of equality and properties of congruence natin. So, letter lang is susulat sa space provided before the number. Number one, what property would you use to solve x plus y plus 5 is equal to 5 if we know that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3? So, ang answer dito is substitution property of equality and that is letter H. Number 2, if 4x is equal to 12, then x is equal to 3. Meron na tayo nito kanina sa example natin. So, gagamitin natin dito is uh, letter G, division property of equality. Divide mo both side by 4 para makuha mo ang value ng x is equal to 3. Number 3, if a minus 3 is equal to 1, then a is equal to 4. Meron na din tayo kanina nito. So, uh, ang, ga ang gagamitin natin dito para makuha natin ang value ng A is equal to 4 is mag-a-add tayo ng 3 both sides. So, addition property of equality, letter D. Number 4, if angle A, A B uh, congruence to angle LM, then angle LM is congruent to angle a, B. And the answer is symmetric property of congruence. Na kahit pagbalik ta rin mo sila, the same, yung equality, hindi naapektuhan yung equality of the equation. Number 5, y plus 9 is equal to 24, then y is equal to 15. 
So, anong, anong property ang gagamitin natin dito para makuha natin ang value ng y, which is 15. And the answer is subtraction property of equality. Then, number 6, if PQ is equal to RS and RS is equal to TU, then PQ is equal to TU. Uh, then the answer is letter C, transitive property of equality. Number 7, if C is a real number, then C is equal to C. The answer is symmetric property, uh, ref sorry, sorry, uh, reflexive property of equality. Then, uh, number 8 is mirroring lang. Angle M is congruence to angle M pa rin. So, the answer is uh, reflexive property of congruence. Then, number 9, if angle JK is congruent to angle LM and angle LM is congruent to angle NO, then uh, angle JK is congruent to angle NO. And the answer is uh, letter K, the transitive property of congruence. Then number 10, the last number, if x over 3 is equal to 10, then x is equal to 30. Paano natin nakuha ang value ng x natin? By multiplying both sides by 3. So we have the multiplication property of equality. So... Kumusta yung score ninyo? Kung nakakuha kayo ng 10 out of 10, congratulations. Ibig sabihin, naintindihan ninyo yung lesson natin ngayon. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit notification bell para mag-notify kayo sa susunod na mga video na gagawin natin. Thank you and bye-bye.